Mr. Parker here to review a, a horror anthology made by several different directors including Derek Carey, Kevin Summerfield, and Corey Udler and this is Hole in the Wall. Uh, I picked this up, it's a VHS tape, it's not on DVD yet, you can get it on demand or there'll be a link below where you can watch it. Uh, I picked this up at Wasteland uh, and uh, watched it uh, right when I got back but uh, it sat for a while so I wanted to revisit it before I did the review. Uh, it essentially is, uh, starts off with a story about this guy who's uh, watching inside this like barn. This guy who uh, is obviously a serial killer and the kid is fascinated by it. He wants to be a part of it. Uh, the psychopath takes him in and kind of shows him the routes. And throughout that story, little objects in the room kind of bring the psycho to tell him other stories. The wraparound is actually pretty solid, one of the best stories in there, and it's usually, the wraparound is never usually one of the best in, a, in an anthology, but this one's pretty solid, and it ties into the last story, of course. The first story is my personal favorite, uh, probably the, the, the best made, and also the best sound uh, mix and everything like that. It essentially follows a serial killer who obviously has a lot of a very haunted past. It's very disgusting, kind of disturbing. Reminds me of like a dark place inside Seventh Day and Roadkill by Jim Van Beber, uh, especially the scene where he's putting them in cages and he has the dog on the top cage and thing and things like that. Uh, this one's kind of nasty, a actually really nasty. This is definitely uh, the grossest short of the bunch and uh, the most uh, hard to watch. Uh, just kind of the exploits of a serial killer with a huge mommy complex and lots and lots of problems and lots of violence in him. Uh, it's like I said, it's well made, it's creepy, and uh, it has a really good sound mix to show this guy's uh, mental state. Uh, the next one, I believe, is by Corey Udler, and this one is about uh, Ed Gein being resurrected and going as a dentist and killing people. Uh, it, it's kind of fun, it's kind of stupid, kind of silly. The guy looks like Ed Gein, so that's pretty much why they probably made it. Uh, they had the idea. Uh, just basically this guy looking like Ed Gein. I kind of enjoyed it. I didn't like the heavy metal music in there at one point when he starts killing people. I thought it was really kind of lame, but that's just me. I never like that kind of stuff. You guys know that. But uh, it, it's kind of just funny for the sole fact that the idea... It's, it's more so the idea is so ridiculous. It, it's kind of almost lighthearted as an Ed Gein story could be. It's all right. Uh, the next story, I believe, I might go out of order here. There is seven of them, or six or seven of them. Uh, the next story is kind of a really batshit crazy uh, story about this weird uh, old love fee uh, thing where these, it's played by a guy, both are played by a guy, this guy's supposed to be a woman, and it shows their relationship, how happy they were 15 years later, they have kids, and it's really weird. I don't know how to explain it. It takes place out in the winter and things like that. It's lots of double crossing, just really off the wall insanity kind of gross stuff weird stuff uh you know eating mustard out of the tube crapping babies out I, I don't know what to say of this one except that it is really just weird and off the wall and i can't really make ends meet uh, or see the point to it but some people will like it if you like the really weird kind of just gross stuff uh the next story is really interesting it is about a siren it's really weird. This uh, singer gets this drug on the street and she kind of is turned into this weird, uh, I guess on the back they say angel of death. Uh, what's weird about this one, this one kind of uses really, really odd uh, camera angles, like camera, something is watching her under the water, so the camera will go underwater, it'll go up like uh, tubes and pipes and stuff like that, and I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Uh, I wasn't necessarily 100% sure what was going on and what was the point of the little creature, or what the little creature was that was in the sink, but I enjoyed it because it was a little creature, but then again, this one is also very weird, very out of this world type deal and I really couldn't wrap my head what the hell that little creature was in the very beginning little creature is watching and everything like that just very odd very weird and uh, I'm not sure again that's two in a row that we're just kinda like what the hell was that but uh, they are definitely weird and strange uh, the first one like I said is the most the first couple are kinda straightforward but after that they get ballistically weird uh, ballistically I guess that's violently weird, whatever. Uh, the next one after that is uh, is uh, the story that leads into the wraparound, which is kind of cool. It's about a haunted axe, and the axe kind of is possessed by someone, and it tells people to go and kill and talk to them and drives them mad. And of course, it leads to our psychopath who's telling the story. Uh, then the wraparound has uh, probably the most gore besides the first story. Uh, as far as gore is concerned uh, and stuff like that, the first uh, story, the wraparound of the first story 
definitely take uh, the most stuff. As far as disgusting stuff is concerned, they all have their moments of grossness, except pro yeah, well, they all have their moments of weird, nasty grossness. Uh, Hole in the Wall is just a weird uh, anthology with a mixed bag of stories, a mixed bag of qualities, and all sorts of weird things here. I'm not sure if I can give all the stories a thumbs up, but uh, I know a lot of people enjoy the first story for sure, the scumbag or scumbag or whatever it's called. And uh, the wraparound I enjoyed as well. Uh, the last story I kind of liked as well. Uh, the other ones, uh, they're just kind of odd and out there and weird, uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, I could appreciate some things about it, but I'm not sure if I could really wholeheartedly recommend them. Uh, I guess it's one of those deals where you probably have to see it for yourself or watch the trailer or just rent it because uh, this is a weird one, guys. Hole in the wall. to watch, didn't you, boy? Uh, I wouldn't watch it. Hell, if you weren't. The world is a whore that deserves nothing but death. You are nothing. You can't hide in there forever. Come out of that closet and kill. <laughs> it's been years since the feeling of life has coursed through me. The warmth. The velvety smoothness of flesh separating. Good. Now that is the sort of filth I have sheltered you from, Eddie. Fetch me my tape so we can begin. The world is asking for it. 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 The world is, for it. The world is a whore that deserves nothing but death. You are nothing.